What is going on guys? It is day three at Goodwood Festival of Speed, starting the day off strong in the supercar parking lot. Later on today, I'm going up in the fastest car I've ever been in in my entire life that does zero to 60 in 1.4 seconds. This has got to be one of the coolest spec 918 spiders I have ever seen. Love the color on this STO. That is an epic spec. And then check out this Matt Uris as well. Really cool titanium exhaust on the 765. Every day in the supercar park, there has been an E39 M5 and every time it makes me miss my car. But check out this Ford GT next to it. Wild looking spec on the Wild. 600 L. <laughs> on the 600 LT Spider. The Project One really does look absolutely insane every time. They just fired it up. Take a listen to that Formula One engine. I mean, look at the exhaust tip on that, the triple exhaust. I will say at idle, the exhaust on this does not sound very good. The vents on the fenders are so cool. It's got active aero and these actually pop up for more downforce. And that is just an epic looking car. Another ridiculously cool car, the Chiron Super Sport. Also with very cool fenders. Look at the air vents right there. Now that sounds incredible at idle, the V12 T50. is so sick. The color combination on the Rimac is unbelievable. I love this green paint and check out how drop dead gorgeous this interior is. I mean they really did a good job making a nice looking interior on a hypercar. They have made the Chiron Supersport so much louder than the standard Chiron. It is unbelievable. The motor on the new Singer Porsche, that is an absolute work of art. This is unbelievably cool, a rebodied full carbon fiber Porsche 928. I love those headlights. Then the interior is insane. How incredible is that? Even the rear end is absolutely ridiculous. BMW has strapped a bunch of actual cars up to the top of a statue. This 300 SLR is wild. Behind me is the fastest car I have ever been in. It's called the FC1. It's an all electric rally car with 1,070 horsepower. And get this, it does zero to 60 miles an hour in 1.4 seconds. That's right, not 2.4, 1.4 seconds. It's all wheel drive and can pull three Gs in the corner and we're about to go up the hill. How insane is the interior of this car? We've got this massive digital central display, a handbrake for drifts, really cool steering wheel, a bunch of data on the screen. We'll ask the driver more about what all the buttons do as well as what does this paddle do? I'm guessing it just puts it into gear. Obviously it's an electric car, so we're not shifting through the gears. Bunch of controls down here as well. I cannot wait for this. <laughs> Zero to 60 in 1.4 seconds. I mean, I can't even fathom what that's going to feel like. And then in front of us, we've got a McLaren F1. How epic is that? So we're here with professional rally cost driver, Ollie Bennett. What can you tell me about this thing? It's absolutely insane. It is crazy, yeah. So this is a Nitro Rallycross FC1 car. Um, it's the car me and Jensen Burton will be driving this year throughout the Nitro Rallycross season, 10 events. So there's an horsepower, 0 to 60 in 1.3 to 5 seconds, depending <laughs> on the grip, absolutely nuts. We've got a handbrake, diff release, these here um, is all us. We've got our battery, temp, state of charge. Uh, we've got cell temp in the batteries, ECU temperature, motor temperatures. This is the torque, so we're running maximum torque. Amazing. Um, regen. I can change all of this, you'll see. I can change all these numbers on my steering wheel um, to change how the car performs. We've got different dash pages. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can check everything on the car um, from the battery all the way through to the motors. Um, and it's designed to go over jumps, bumps, um, on tarmac, on dirt. It can just do anything. So we're gonna send it up this hill and show you what it can do. That is incredible. I have to ask though, what does this paddle do on an electric car? So we can actually change gear. Oh no. Yeah, we got three gears. Wow. We'll go first to third. That way is down, this way is up. Very okay. cool. You'll see me changing that as we go up. We've got this button here as well. It says alpha launch. 
but we've program programmed it, sorry, for this event. It will be 20 seconds of another 300 horsepower. <laughs> so when I press that, you'll really know we're going. Awesome. Well, guys, I can't wait. He's actually got a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link it in the description below. It's time to go up the hill. So when you're racing, do you have a passenger or it's just no, solo? No, just one driver, <laughs> yeah. Take the passenger seat out. Gotcha. And how long is a approximate race? Three, four minutes. Gotcha. Yeah, we do four laps in heat, six laps in semi and final, but a lap is like 40 seconds. Yeah, it's just super, super intense. I can imagine. But not very long, basically. And it's a mix of both pavement and dirt? Yeah. That yeah, is half insane. And, half. and it's on slicks on the dirt? Yep. <laughs> That yeah, is more, wild. More grip than you think. The gripping of cars we're in right now is absolutely insane. We've got a McLaren F1 GTR in front of us, a whole bunch of Formula One cars. Couldn't really get much cooler. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, there's a yeah, Formula One car behind us, the crazy McLaren in front. We're in the middle, we're gonna do donuts. It just such a weird feeling to be in amongst all these cars. The crazy part is this is probably faster than most of the cars. That is the crazy bit, and it's twice the size. <laughs> what does it weigh, do you know? Yeah, it's uh, 1,500 kilos. Wow, it's actually a little heavier than I would have thought. Well, it's big batteries. Yeah. The batteries are the problem, they just do weigh a lot. You know it's going to be violently fast when he's described everyone getting in the car as his next victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to love it, mate. Yeah, thanks for taking yeah. me up the hill, it's, it's really be, exciting. It's, there's nothing like, it's the only car I've drove I get neck ache from the G-Force. Really? It's that far. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, you won't experience anything like this. If you think supercars are fast, this is just a new level. <laughs> Holy shit! That is amazing! So you mentioned you go over jumps. Yes. What kind of prep do you do when you're approaching a jump? Are you accelerating, then you let off at the top? Are you flooring it the whole way, or what? Uh, other way, so we, we, we go up at a certain speed, we know we need to clear the jump. Gotcha. If we're below a minimum, we bail. Yep. If we're up at the maximum, that's great. And then basically, if you can bit the throttle before the air, before you take off, sorry, that'll give you like a nice flat flying angle. And then you can give it more gas in the air to pitch the car a bit. Or wow. if you dab the brakes, you can dab it there a bit. So we can change the angle of the car in the air. That's insane. Uh, it is insane. But the jumps we can do, we do in America especially, probably 120 foot gap jumps. No way. Yeah, yeah, you're in the air. If you check out some of my Instagram or YouTube, yeah, we fly for like four or five seconds. Long time. Oh my God. That was scary enough on the ground. Taking it in the air <laughs> must be another experience. Oh, it's, honestly, the first jump I saw, we do uh, a timed run, so we do go at a timing beam to check we can get the speed. Then you can do runs to the jump, but some drivers choose to do a practice run, others yep. just go for it, and I'm the type, I gotta go for it. Because I think if I do a practice run, you know, it's like you're almost scaring yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just go. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah. 
as you guys know, my daily driver is a thousand horsepower Tesla Plaid that does zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds. But this is on such another level of acceleration, it's actually unbelievable. I've almost gotten used to the power of the Plaid at this point, but this car actually made it feel as it was accelerating about after 60 miles an hour, like I was about to pass out. I could feel the blood rushing through my body legitimately as we went up the hill. We got some epic Formula One cars coming up the hill as well. I mean, the company of cars that we are in up here, the McLaren F1 GTR and an insane Golf livery, a bunch of old and newer generation Formula One cars. Little peek inside the interior of the F1 GTR. Didn't realize they've got a digital instrument cluster, flat bottom steering wheel, that center seat is so darn cool. Look at that, they're cooling down the brakes with a blow dryer. I'm convinced this has to be the gutsiest sport I've ever seen. I have no idea what these are called, but oh my god, they're laying forward, and they've even got a passenger. How crazy is this? <laughs> Look at the exhaust on this Lotus race car. That is wild. Look how tiny the passenger compartment is. This has got to be absolutely terrifying to get behind the wheel of. We've also got an insane vintage Ferrari. Look at the quad exhaust on the side. Does it have another quad exhaust on the other side? eight total exhaust pipes. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. That seriously was the most mind-blowing car I've ever been in. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.